Let's talk about creating value. In our last collection, we've got a lot of resources around value, understanding value, and prototyping. In fact, there's a lot of reasons to prototype, and certainly one of them is around innovation, especially those critical early stages. You know, I'd recommend Tom Chi's TED Talk at TED Youth on his lo-fi approach to prototyping Google Glass. In that presentation, Tom offers three rules of prototyping for innovation. It's wisdom. Find the quickest path to an experience. Doing is the best kind of thinking. Do it! Use materials that move at the speed of thought to maximize your learning. How does prototyping often go on in engineering, particularly engineering education? Let me share an example. Listen to this conversation. This is our prototype. So why did you make this particular prototype? Well, we were supposed to. I guess we aren't building a commercial one. No, I mean, why did you build this particular prototype? Was it to test feasibility or test function or reliability? Or were you building it to take to stakeholders or potential customers or to think about a practical supply chain, manufacturing or assembly process, or maybe even develop estimates of cost? Or was it for your own ability to innovate? Wow, those are really good ideas. That's the way prototyping often happens in capstone design. Let's talk a little bit more about the dimensions of creating value. For example, really, what is value? It's not only economic, you know that. There's a notion of societal value and human flourishing that underlies. And fundamentally, what we advocate for is an examination of value when we're doing engineering. Sometimes there's a tension between the external version of value and the internal version of value. Let's take a look at a diagram that just illustrates this idea. The internal version of value, those are often conviction-based. Value has often been a topic within philosophy. It can be based upon firmly held beliefs, what's good for society, what's good for the environment, what's long-term, or perhaps another way, things that aren't valuable are things that are detrimental or perhaps irresponsible. Those are characteristics of what you might say is value as determined internally. But there's certainly external things that are associated with value too. External things might be stakeholders that determine how valuable your work product is. 